start at third base in the All-Star game since Ray Boone in 1954. J.J. Hardy goes to his first Midsummer Classic. Robinson Cano voted in for the fourth time, his fifth trip overall. Chris Davis surpassed Miguel Cabrera as the leading vote-getter in either league. Mike Trout, Adam Jones, and Jose Bautista will make up the outfield. Now, Manny Machado is leading all of baseball with 39 doubles on pace for a single-season record. He'll be going to his first All-Star game. Machado has been a spark plug for the Orioles since his call-up last season. In 2013, he's batting 315 with six home runs and 42 RBIs, and he's leading the club with 119 hits. The rest of the bench will consist of three Tigers, Prince Fielder, Johnny Peralta, and Torrey Hunter. The reigning AL Player of the Month, Jason Kipnis, will represent the Indians. Another second baseman, Dustin Pedroia, will be heading to his fourth All-Star game. Alex Gordon, Sal Perez, and Jason Castro make their first appearances. Now, Matt Harvey, the popular pick to start for the NL. Max Scherzer seems to be the favorite in the American League. He's been very good this season, 13-0 with a 3.09 ERA, 139 strikeouts, third most in baseball behind you, Darvish, and Matt Harvey. The rest of the pitching staff will include Scherzer's teammate, Justin Verlander, so two Tigers and two Mariners, Felix Hernandez and Hisashi Iwakuma. Bartolo Colon is the fourth best ERA in the AL. This is his third trip to the Midsummer Classic. And Mariano Rivera will go to his 13th and final All-Star game. His 13 All-Star game selections, the second most all-time for a pitcher, trailing only Warren Spahn. And then there's the final vote. Five relievers make up this list of candidates. Joaquin Benoit, Steve Delabar, David Robertson, Tanner Shepherds, and Koji Uehara. Manager Jim Leland must be expecting a few matchups late in that game. And again, 